So let's talk about CI numbers because <clears throat> uh, CI numbers too. Um, see, and a lot, a lot of artists in the industry, which I'm very proud of because years ago, artists didn't even know what a CI number was. They, you know, and now lots and lots of artists are, I mean, I see them on, you know, in these groups talking about CI numbers and CI numbers are very, very important. CI number the CI stands for color index. And what that is, it's a five digit number and a generic name assigned to a particular uh, colorant, assigned to each colorant. So when we're making, when not me, but when chemists are making pigments, right, uh, they buy what's called colorants, pigment powder, and all different kinds of shades. And, um, and, and, and they're mixing all kinds of different, you know, pigment powders together to create certain uh, shades and certain tones. So each colorant, whether it's an organic or an ion oxide, each colorant is assigned a five digit number and a generic name so it can be identified. For example, CI12477 is also known as red 210 and chemists typically call it out as red 210 that's a lot easier than remembering the five digit number mm -hmm. so when i'm talking to you know darlene and we're, we're talking pigments and we're formulating and whatnot she doesn't say you know yeah ci12477 she says red 210 or yellow 65 or you know you know uh, like that so most chemists and pigment formulators are going to call it out by the name it's assigned, like red 210, which by the way is now banned. <laughs> so, uh, but we didn't use red 210 in any of our pigments. So, you know, we got really lucky there. But what the CI number does, what it identifies, what it tells you, uh, it tells you what color that pigment powder is. Is it a bright yellow, a muted yellow, a bright orange, a rusty orange? It describes the color of the pigment it describes the molecular structure, its physical and chemical uh, properties, and it also tells you its uses and applications. And that is important, I think, for artists to have access to. Um, if you wanna look up a CI number and learn about that particular colorant that is being used in that particular a pigment that you're using. I, I, I think we should all have that information, privy to that information. Um, the CI numbers should be listed on the back of every pigment bottle, period. No question asked. Um, I don't think that's debatable. I just think it should be. And why wouldn't a pigment manufacturer list the CI numbers in that bottle of pigment. It doesn't cost them any more money mm -hmm. to add that to the bottle. Um, it does have to be listed by law in Europe, in Europe, but it doesn't in the US, but um, I, I think it should be. And the other reason I think those CI numbers are so important and and, it, and it's so important that they are listed individually on the back of every pigment bottle is so if you are an artist that is concerned on whether there is a banned colorant in that bottle of pigment, you can look it up. Mm -hmm. You can look it up. You can research that CI number and determine is that a colorant that the EU has banned? uh, from, from any pigment, you know, uh, in, in being used in the EU. I, I, I would want to know that I look when I'm eating food, I read my ingredients. When I buy, um, you know, f face wash, face cream, I read my ingredients. I, I don't just read my ingredients on my bottle of pigment, but I, are you an ingredient reader? Yeah. Olivia, you are. Yeah. Are you Willow? No. We got to put a mic on you, Willow. <laughs> Next, next podcast, I'm putting a mic on you. You're going to sit over here and we're going to put a mic on you. 
So you don't need <laughs> ingredients. No. 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 Okay. I'm not allergic to anything, so I'm not on the lookout for anything. <laughs> well, you're still young. Yeah. <laughs> so I think as the older you get, you worry a little bit more about what's in the stuff that you're you're eating or you're using. Well, shit. And if you eat McDonald's, then you probably don't give. <laughs> you probably don't give two hoots what's in your food, right? No, no offense to McDonald's. I I know Big Macs are yummy, but um, yeah, I have not eaten McDonald's or fast food since like I don't know, like twenty five years. I honest, yeah, honest to God, I have not. I don't miss it. But cat, there's burgers around town, man, that are really like super good, way fucking better than like McDonald's. That crap. I'm gonna give a shout out to Kraft. Oh, God dang. What is it? Craft, <laughs> Craft Kitchen, 565, up on Rainbow and, uh, and Tropicana there. If you're in the Vegas area, visit Vegas. I mean, they got one hell of a burger. And Gordon Ramsay, too, man. Over at Ho- Planet Hollywood. Mm, 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 good burger. Okay. So, CI numbers. Yeah. So, they should be listed on the back of every single bottle. And it, it just... It just strikes me really odd that some manufacturers would not. If you're using, you know, a, a bottle of pigment and you look back, and hopefully after this podcast, maybe a lot of you are going to look at the back of your, your pigments now and look for those CI numbers, and it will say CI and then a five-digit number. It will not have the generic name like Red 210, uh, but it will have the five-digit number. And if you're... If there is not CI numbers listed, you know, that, that would strike, that would strike me. That would, I think that prompts some questions. If it says, um, if there's no CI numbers, but it says, you know, a unique blend or approved colorants or proprietary blend, uh, that also should prompt questions. Uh, because again, even if it says, using approved colorants or proprietary blend or special blend. Uh, uh, They can use any verbiage they want, but they're still not listing the CI colors for you, the consumer, to research, to identify and research. So that would prompt questions. I think transparency um, is really, really important. And I think transparency is wanted and, and I think it's needed. I mean, LI is completely transparent. We have, you know, nothing, nothing to hide. We list all our CI numbers on the back of every single bottle. Uh, but we always have. Um, so that, that's my two cents on, on CI numbers. Yeah, and what they are and why they're important and why they should be on the back of all, um, you know, pigment bottles, you know, in my opinion. And I think most, maybe not most, but I know a lot of pigment manufacturers do put their CI numbers um, on the back of their bottles and 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 agree with the transparency and that they should be. And, and there's a lot of really, uh, really good and responsible pigment manufacturers out there uh, alongside LI, uh, listing CI uh, CI numbers, uh, sending their pigments over to Europe um, for testing and uh, and doing everything that they can to make sure um, they're reaching a high level of uh, safety for for our industry and for ultimately people, you know, the people that we're using them on. Yeah, for the clients. For the clients, yeah. So, and I think if you asked client, if you did a survey and you asked your clients, would you rather know what's in this bottle of pigment (laughs) that I'm about to implant into your skin? Uh, Would you rather know the ingredients and be certain that they're all deemed, you know, safe, they're all approved? Or would you rather just not know? You know, I think most clients... Uh, would like to know. You yeah. know, Willow probably wouldn't really give a shit. <laughs> Willow she, wouldn't care. Will, Willow wouldn't care. She's like, I don't care. Just get these fucking eyebrows done. Yeah. <laughs> Just hurry up and get these eyebrows done. It hurts. <laughs> yeah. It, well, no, it would only hurt her because she's like a redhead kind of. Right? Brunette. You're a brunette. <laughs> well, you got like, you got like red hair, redhead, redhead qualities about you. Yeah, the freckles. The freckles, <laughs> and I bet you burn like hell in the sun real quick. 
Uh, you see, yeah, you got red. You got. I know. You might not have red hair, but you got that red hair. Uh, uh, what do I trying to say? Properties or features. you know uh, um, features, characteristics, characteristics. That's a good yeah. one, Olivia. Thank you. I'll think of the word. <laughs> Feature char- characteristics. Yeah.